بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم فيوز ويلكم تو ذا سيريز اوف فيديو ان ويتش وي ار شوينج يو ذات هاو يو كان يوز ذا تكست تو كولم فانكشناليتي اوف في بي اي اند اكسل تو ترانسفر يور ديتا فروم ديفرنت سيستم لايك ساب او اني اذر سيستم وين يو يوز ذا فاسيلتي اوف ذا اكسترنال سيستمز لايك ساب او بي بي اس بي بي سي اس او اني اذر سيستم لايك جي دي ادوردز او وات ايفر سو اني اي ار بي سيستم اول موست اوف ذا اي ار بي سيستم هاف ذا ذا فانكشناليتي تو تو داونلود ذا انفورميشن تو جيت ات تو اكسبورت ذا ذا ديزايرد ديتا ان تو اكسل اند and then from there you can carry on your analytics uh, etc right so so this is a, a common thing that uh, uh, the, uh, in such usage is you you download to some excel sheet and then you find some sort of this problem that uh, uh, you have some trailing x trailing um, negative sign in negative figures so which you want them to be uh, to, uh, to be having a leading minus sign instead of trailing minus sign because uh, by having a trailing minus sign uh, this becomes a string and not not uh, uh, com not calculatable if you want to do a sum of this so it is not automatically allowing you to the sum of this so normally when you click the sum so so it is getting you a uh, wrong bit why because the uh, uh, um, by by exporting um, the data from uh, sap or from other uh, erp system uh, these figures uh, uh, got uh, 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 converted into the strength whereas these should be uh, converted into into uh, the calculatable number so so we have shown you in our previous system that uh, in the previous video that uh, uh, we managed to handle it by uh, by an algorithm we showed you in our previous video so let me show you right away uh, uh, that code that was on the t code cock 4 not this code right cock 4 if you say uh, so let's uh, go to the ultra f11 and we search for the cock for or we search for uh the yeah we can go to cock for say for example this okay and then uh we search it and this will take us directly uh, quickly to the point where we want to reach and that is cock for and one more let's do one more cock for yeah this is the my t code is this and my t code is this and here is is the x loop we could we could have used x loop that is more uh, uh this would take you directly to where we want to get so these three things have to be replaced wherever when you have uh when you, where you want to uh, to handle this uh, uh, trailing uh, minus numbers issue so what you can do is just copy these three lines because this is where we have handle it right and it is it it gets into a do while loop and in the first uh, when the x loop is one it uh, it does it rightly uh, with the with the character that is uh, the piping character and for the second time it is going to pass a dummy uh, delimiter uh, and that would uh, 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 that that would resolve your issue of uh, uh, automatic trailing uh, sign which was appearing okay so so we copy this and we Uh, we put uh, we we put in all the places where this uh, pipeline uh, piping character is used, so we can copy it there, right? So what we do here, we do if this is uh, we we paste in here, right? And then what we do, we uh, every do while is supposed to be ended with a loop, right? That's fine. And uh, before every do, right? before every loop what we are going to do we want to do x loop is equal to is equal to x loop plus one so that it is incremented this is the normal thing okay so those who understand the dual while loop they know that every loop has to become with a new counter so an incremented counter right that's it so when the x loop is this one, okay the next is we replace this uh, uh, this character with what x char x char right okay and the last thing we got to do is that here we will use uh, if iif iif in function is a very useful function uh, in which we 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 can give some uh, condition so say if x loop is equal to 1 then of course you do it on the a1 position otherwise you do in far away from this so say so otherwise otherwise is here yeah this comma is for otherwise now it's a range and here we are going to say 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 z1 yeah, so far away from 
this. So this is a, just a dummy, okay, uh, operation. So so that's it. So you have done the needful so since you have been uh, using it multiple places in, in the code. So wherever you have used this piping character within this selection text to column data, so that is going to be replaced with X sharp and a do while loop uh, and and if a statement, that's it. Okay. So this we will be doing. So, so uh, for this, uh, uh, what is a, uh, this T code, we have done it. Let's uh, do it for other any other T code if it is not already done. So so to do it, what we got to do is we search for, uh, we go to Alt F11 and we see if there is any other, any other place where the text to column is being done with a delimiter. Uh, this, Piping delimiter. So we say we find next within the entire project. So this is fine. X chart is fine. So this is the place where it's uh, it's being done. So we do the same thing in here as well. Okay. So, so what we do, we paste the lines which we have done and we do the exit do. Uh, end of the do is here. This is do. loop and x loop is increment it with one plus one and what else and this is going to be replaced with x char that is the character so that it can uh, take the piping character on the first loop and the second time it is going to pass the dummy character that's what we want so this is going to be done okay so and what else we can do we can do this is done. What else we want? We want, uh, yeah, this, this connect. So it's here between it, IIF, that is the conditional statement. If X loop is equal to one, then do this thing. Otherwise, uh, it means it is a position when you, you have uh, the dummy delimiter. So say range is at Is at uh, well, uh, five. Hmm? Is it five? It's five. Okay. Since it was a, uh, it was b five. So is it five? It's fine. This is a dummy. And we close it. That's it. And we must have done a mistake. See that you have to close another, another bracket here yes. because this bracket is for IIF function. So this is done. And let's see. Uh, if we go to the X uh, and another part of, uh, let's go to another a piping character wherever we have used, it will take take us to there. Okay, so this is not a not a within the text to column. Anything within the text to column that is going to be done in here. Okay, so this is the place which is within the uh, text to column operation. So we will do do the needful in here. Okay, ultra eleven. Okay, so this is where. We have to start the loop. We would control V in here and we end the loop in here. That is loop. And the loop is incremented. So the X loop is, is equal to, it's a counter. X loop is a counter. X loop is equal to X loop plus one. And what else? And this is going to be replaced with what? X character. And what else? The last thing is IIF. If x loop is equal to one, one then do this. Otherwise, otherwise what? Otherwise, uh, range. You have to put a comma. Yeah. Otherwise, range what? Uh, so uh, the range of uh, in with a z five y five because this that was b five so b five equal to a z five. Okay. So we have to um, ensure the symmetry. Right. Okay. That's it. Okay, so this is this is also done. Now, any other place where we have this piping character, let's check. This is not within the text to column. This is this is uh, within the text to column, and this we can do in here as well. Okay, so this is the place where we got to do it. So before the selection, before the selection, uh, okay. I lost, I lost the place, uh, yeah, this one, before the selection, yeah, this is the place, 
Okay. And here we are going to use uh, paste. The, the loop is the initial thing, right? Initial is three lines of the loop. Yeah. And then we here, we do the end loop. This is the ending of the loop. And then we do X loop is equal to X loop plus one. And what else? And then we replace this with X char. And then we do this. Uh, I, I, if condition, uh, X loop is equal to one, then, then this, otherwise you put a comma and say range, range, uh, says AZ five, and we close the bracket. Okay, so this is done also. Any other place, if we have used it, so let's see within the selection. Yeah. So this is where we are doing. Okay. These are the headings of the column. Okay. So what we do here, the same thing we do. We paste it, the initial three lines in here. And we do a bit of indenting. Okay. And then we loop it here. And it is incremented. The counter of x loop is equal to x loop plus one. And what else? And this is going to be replaced with what? X char. X char. What else? And here we are going to write if x loop is equal to one, then this position. Otherwise, uh, otherwise what? Otherwise, we say, say uh, range. Is uh, is at this time is at four. Huh? Just for the sake of symmetry, we got to do this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is also done. Now let's check again. Control F and we see if there is any other piping character within the text to column. This is the text to column, but it is macro one. This was a temporary one, so not needed. Okay. So we we remove it. We we can straight away remove this macro as well. Just not to confuse. Right? Control F. So we are searching any other piping. So this is not within the selection uh, texture column. So this is the place where it is being done. And here we are going to. Uh, so it has already, it has already been done. If the selection is column is one, then do this. Otherwise, uh, it is being done in like this way. Okay. So we do the for we do this for. So this is actually a done in a. Uh, and in another manner, right? So in which it is used by a different approach, but it is, you see, it is passing the dummy character from the delimiter in here and doing it. So we can remove it just for the sake of uh, uh, simplicity. Let's make it simple and we can, we can replace it with our standard practice. So to a way here we Terminate the loop. This is the termination, the completion of loop. And then x loop is equal to x loop plus one. Right? And here we are going to use what? The x char, x char, and what else? And here we put the if condition, conditional function. If x loop is equal to one, then this, otherwise, uh, Otherwise, is it hello? This is we are following the symmetry, right? Okay, so so it will be an LR, so it is now AZ and a lot. That's right. So we find any other thing in which we have used this delimiter within the text column. So this is, this is unnecessary. So let's remove this and we find next. So this is X char, this, this is already done. Let me check if this is done properly. Yes, A1, EZ1, that's right. And 
this is let's show this is also done properly you can see the a1 and a a1 that's right okay uh normally we are doing it az1 okay so az1 is fine okay so any other place if we have used the piping and delimiter this is fine okay i hope it is done correctly a1 and az1 that's right and next this is it so we have completed all our necessary uh, coding with respect to this issue. Now, the this is uh, one place where we have yet to do it. Okay, so this is the place where we have to do it. So, okay, control V. Okay, and what we do, we indent it and we terminate the loop as well here. Loop, and after this loop, what we do, incrementing. The x loop is equal to x loop plus one. And this is going to be replaced with x char. This is the name of the piping, uh, means a delimiter. Okay. And here we are going to write the conditional, func conditional function in which we are checking x loop. If it is one, x loop is equal to one, then range b4. Otherwise, otherwise we say, is at four range. So this is done. Next is we check again if uh, is there anything left which we can do it here. This is x sharp also. It is uh, okay. We we do the same thing in here as well. Okay. Okay, there are quite of uh, places, quite a number of places in which we have used uh, uh, this. So this means just to avoid any unforeseen mistakes. So, so this is a, this is a solution which you can use it fearlessly. You don't have to fear because it is so simple. And and loop is equal to x loop plus one. Yeah, and you replace this character with the x sharp. And what else? And here you use the if function, the condition function, which is checking x loop counter is equal to one, then do this thing. Otherwise, put it away from this range. So that is a range, range, uh, you could say, uh, a, z, four. Okay, so this is done. Let's check again if there's anything left. So this is already within the loop. This is already done. So all we have, we hopefully we have done everything. All the necessary things have been done. And the piping character is replaced with a variable x char, right? X char. Okay, that's it. So, so that's it. That's complete. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.